Welcome everyone. Today we are going to visit the Okotoke, the Big Rock, the world's largest glacial erratic. I have another video telling the story of this fascinating place. You can find that video link in the description below, or you can click that link here. But before you do that, I wanted this walk to show you something extraordinary that a lot of people miss when they walk around the rock. I will show you where my ancestors, and perhaps even yours, left their mark thousands of years ago. Come along with me. For those that don't know the Okotoks erratic, commonly known as the Big Rock, it is a massive glacial boulder situated approximately 7 kilometers west of Okotoks, Alberta. It weighs around 16 1,500 tons, and it stands 9 meters tall, stretches 41 meters in length, and spans 18 meters in width. It's comparable to a three-story building. Big Rock is composed of quartzite from the Gog Formation, a geological structure formed between 600 to 520 million years ago in a shallow sea environment. Originating near Jasper National Park, the boulder was transported approximately 600 kilometers southeast by a glacier during the last ice age, around 10,000 to 12,000 years ago. As the glacier melted, it deposited rock on rocks on the flat plains near present-day Okotoks. The Blackfoot people refer to the rock as Okotok, meaning rock, which is the namesake of the town of Okotoks. Big Rock holds spiritual significance for the Blackfoot First Nation, Here, hidden under the ledge, is something special. It's hidden from visitors. These ancient artworks, primarily created using red ochre or iron-rich hematite and animal fat, include handprints, geometric shapes, and human figures, all facing towards the south. These pictographs served various purposes from ceremonial rituals to recording significant events. For instance, some images depict journeys with arrows indicating direction and circles representing the number of moons or months taken for that journey. There's one pictograph that illustrates a 17-month journey.
In the distance, we can see the Rocky Mountains still covered in snow, and we hear the sound of a horse whinny. Let's have a look. Thank you for joining me today. If you want to visit the Big Rock for yourself, just travel to Oak Tokes and head west. There is a large parking lot, washrooms, and the trail is accessible, but gravel near the bottom. We have laid hay down between the rocks so that it preserves the soil. Remember to be respectful and careful around this Alberta wonder.